In today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to find out how many people are clicking the links on your Google business profile and how to create a detailed report for each link, just like this. Now you might be asking, why is this so important? Well, understanding which parts of your business profile are getting the most attention, whether it's your website, menu, product, or latest Google post, helps you make smarter decisions about what to promote, where to invest your time, and how to improve your online presence. Simply put, tracking these clicks lets you fine tune your business strategy based on real customer behavior. While the performance tab on your Google business profile provides some useful data, it doesn't show who is clicking on each specific link. That's where things get frustrating. To get this information, you'll need a more advanced tracking tool. And the best tool for this job is Google Analytics 4. If you haven't installed GA4 on your website yet, I highly recommend doing so. If you need help, check out my tutorial, Google Analytics 4, tutorial for beginners. If you already have Google Analytics 4 set up, great. Let me walk you through how to create this Google Business Profile link report step by step. Although Google Analytics is a very powerful tool, there isn't a report out of the box that can tell you when visitors land on your website after clicking a link on your Google Business Profile, making it hard to know how well your listing is performing. The good news is you can customize these links so they can easily be tracked in GA4, helping you understand how well your Google Business Profile is performing. Before I show you how to do this, it's important to understand a concept used throughout Google Analytics, which is called channel grouping. In Google Analytics 4, channel groups are a way of organizing and categorizing the different sources of traffic that come to your website. In layman's terms, channel groups are an easy way of sorting and labeling where your website visitors come from. For example, when looking at the traffic acquisition report, you can see traffic coming from different channels, such as organic, but also from direct visits, social media, and so on. Unfortunately, whenever a visitor clicks on any link from your Google business profile, these visits are automatically added to the Google organic channel group. This can be misleading, especially if your Google business profile drives a fair amount of visitors to your site. If you want to track the activity generated from your Google business profile effectively, you need to help Google Analytics understand where this additional traffic is coming from. This way, it's not automatically added to the organic search channel group. To do that, you'll need to add additional parameters to the links placed on your Google business profile using something called UTM parameters. Don't panic, it's easy to do. Let me show you how this is done using an example of a website link on an existing Google business profile. Let's say I want to find out how many people have visited my client's website by clicking the link on their Google business profile, which currently leads to the homepage. Head over to a free Google tool called Campaign URL Builder. I've put the link to it in the description below. This tool is specifically designed so you can add extra parameters to any link, making them super easy to track in Google Analytics. So let's say the website link you use on your Google business profile is your homepage. Enter the link into the website URL field, ignore the campaign ID field, and jump straight to the source. There, add Google as the traffic source. For the campaign medium, use organic, and for the campaign name, use gbp-website-link. The GBP parameter is important here as it refers to Google Business Profile. Make sure it's all in lowercase. You don't have to use the exact same parameter, but I find this works well. This will automatically create a link with the added parameters. Copy the link, log into your Google business profile, click on edit profile, and under the contact tab, remove the existing link and paste the new one you've just created with the extra parameters, then save. Head back to Google Analytics. For your Google business profile link to be tracked, you'll need to create a dedicated channel group for it. To do this, click on the admin section from the left-hand side main menu. 
In the data display card, click on channel group, then click on create new channel group. Give your channel group a name. Your business name works well, so it's easily identifiable. In the description, you can add something like GBP links. Then click on add new channel. Name your new channel Google Business Profile. Next, click on add condition group and select the campaign name option. Click on add condition, then select begins with. And in the field below, add the following parameter. GBP, all in lowercase. This is the first parameter added to the URL you built earlier. Then click on apply and save the channel. You should now see a list of the available channels GA4 uses to determine where traffic comes from. Your newly created channel should appear at the bottom. Since GA4 categorizes traffic based on the order of this list, and we've indicated that our Google links are organic, for our newly created channel to be considered, it needs to be positioned just before the organic search channel. Otherwise, it won't be taken into consideration in the report. Click on Reorder, then drag the Google Business Profile channel you've just created just above the organic search channel. Click on Apply and save the group. You're all done. To check how this works, go to the report section, select the acquisition report, then the traffic acquisition detailed report. To see your new channel, click on the arrow next to the channel grouping drop down menu. You should see an option called session followed by your business name. Just select it. You should now see clearly the organic traffic that goes to your website from your Google business profile. Once again, you'll need to wait 24 to 48 hours before the data starts showing in the report. You can track every single link on your Google business profile using the same process. Let me show you how to do this with a Google Post link, for example. Let's say I want to track how many people click on this link from this Google Post that points to this page. To do this, go back to the campaign URL builder. In the website URL field, enter the address of the page the Google Post links to. The campaign source and campaign medium should remain the same. Change the campaign name to something related to the Google Posts so you can recognize it in the report, making sure it starts with the GBP parameter in lowercase. Let's call this one gbp-post-swanly, as it is the name of the post. Once you're done, copy your link. Log into your Google Business Profile, then click on your post. Click on Edit. Replace the link with the one you've just created and click on Post. After tagging all your Google Business Profile links, using this method, you'll be able to track the number of visits each link drives to your website, helping you identify the most effective ones. To view detailed traffic for each link, click the plus button, select the Traffic Source option, and then choose Session Campaign. This will show a breakdown of which links have directed traffic to your site from your Google Business Profile. Want to make things even better? Check out the next video. You'll see how to track when these links actually turn visitors into customer leads so you can really see the impact.